Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the orthographic projection of solids using the Solid Edge software. Coming to the problem statement, a square pyramid 35 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its corners of the base such that the two base edges containing the corner on which it rests make equal inclinations with HP. Draw the projections of the pyramid when the axis of the pyramid is inclined to HP at 40 degrees and to VP at 30 degrees. So looking at the problem statement, we can arrive at a set of conclusions. The first one being the type of solid. So the type of solid given to us here is a square pyramid, which is having the base edges measuring 35 mm and also the axis length is 60 mm. Next is the inclination. So the axis is inclined to both HP and VP at an angle of 40 degrees and 30 degrees respectively. And the word appears to be is not given to here. So the given angle is phi and not beta. So theta is 40 degrees and phi is 30 degrees. So we are going to take a parameter which is going to change its length. And uh, that particular geometrical parameter is considered for inclination with respect to the VP. And hence it is a beta angle problem. Also the resting condition is it is resting on one of the corners and the edges containing that corner, uh, they are making equal inclinations with respect to the HP. So with these conditions, now let us see how to draft the solution for this problem statement. So we'll begin with drawing the XY line of thickness 0.18 mm and let it be a continuous line. So we will draw a line of any arbitrary length and annotate this line as the XY line. And also annotate the planes as VP and HP where the front and the top views are recorded respectively. Now let us draw the square base of the pyramid. So let us consider that to be a line of thickness 0 0.50 mm. So first let us draw the condition of resting on one of its edges and then let us incline it to rest on one of its corners. So this is the base of the square pyramid. Now we will select this square and then we are going to rotate it in such a way that it is resting on one of its corner. So if one of its diagonal is made parallel to the XY line, it becomes a square resting on one of its corner. So you can see that all the edges are equally inclined to the HP. So suppose if this is considered as the corner, the edges containing this particular corner is making equal inclinations with respect to the HP as given in the problem statement. So now let us draw the triangular faces of the pyramid. So it is drawn by drawing the respective diagonals. So now we will do the annotation of the top view of the square pyramid. So this is resting on one of its corner A. And this is corner B, corner C and corner D. Also, O is the apex of the pyramid and O1 is the base of the, the center point of the base of the pyramid. So this is O1. So now let us draw the front view of the square pyramid by drawing the projection lines from each of the corners. From corner A intersect the XY line. Similarly from corner B through the corner D intersect the, intersect the XY line and then intersect the XY line from the corner C. Ensure that all the projection lines are making a perfect 90 degrees. Okay, so it's almost touching the end point. In case if it was not, just use the extend to next option so that the lines are getting intersected. So now let us draw the front view of the square pyramid. So let us select the axis line first. So in this condition, what happens is the axis line is going to be superimposed by this slant edge. So we will not draw the axis line here. So we'll directly go for 
a continuous line of thickness 0 0.50 mm so from this end point to this end point and to this end point this is the bottom portion of the square pyramid so now the axis measures 60 mm so we are going to draw a vertical line of 60 mm and from this vertical line we are going to draw the slant edges so whenever the square pyramid is resting on one of its corner the two triangular faces are visible to the observer in the front view and now we are going to annotate this so this is the corner a dash and this is the apex of the pyramid which is o dash similarly this is the corner d dash okay this is the corner c dash and here it is the corner b dash which is visible and d dash which is not visible so it is inside the bracket and also here the bottom face of the pyramid and its center o1 dash is also seen so this is o1 dash so with this we complete the front view of the square pyramid which is resting on one of its corners initially on the hp and the two edges containing that corner is making equal inclinations with respect to the hp now we will go for the second condition which states that the axis of the pyramid is inclined to the hp at an angle of 40 degrees so for this condition what we can do is we can select this front view of the pyramid make it a rigid set and then we will go for selecting the pyramid again along with the annotations and then select the move option ensure the copy is on so keeping a dash as the point of center move the front view of the pyramid towards the right hand side of the xy line and now let us use the rotate option so we are going to incline the base of the pyramid so let us consider a dash and c dash as the two points of rotation and incline the base of the pyramid at an angle of 90 minus the angle of inclination of the axis that is 40 so that is at 50 degrees with respect to the hp so now what we can do is we can go for extend to next option and extend this axis line so this entire line is one entity now so what we can do is we can just use the split option so select the entire line and the point where it has to be split so now you can just see that only this portion of the line becomes a separate entity so we will change this line to the chain type and th thickness to the 0.13 so now go for angle between select this and this and the angle of inclination is 40 degrees so the purpose of doing 90 degrees here is you can just see that the angle between this and this is 90 degrees and then the base angle is 50 degrees so 90 degrees minus the angle of inclination of the axis will be the inclination of the base so now we are going to draw the top view of the square pyramid so now we will draw the projection lines from o dash a dash b dash and d dash and also o1 dash and then from the corner c dash let us draw the corresponding horizontal projection lines So now we will complete the top view of the square pyramid. So before we do that, let us select the line of thickness 0 0.50 mm. And for the observer, the farthest corner point is the corner A dash. So on the corner A dash is going to lie here. So from A dash, it is going to intersect D dash. And from the corner A, it is also going to intersect the corner B dash. So these two lines will be the hidden lines. So we are going to change that line type to the hidden line or the dotted line and rest all the other lines will be the visible lines so we can just go for the continuous line and then 
always select the points of intersection and ensure that it is on in the Intelli sketch. So even this portion will be a hidden line actually that is from A dash to O dash but however it will be overlapped by this slant edge so it is need not have to be shown. So now we are going to use the trim option to trim the projection lines which is not required for the further steps. So with this we have completed the top view of the square pyramid. So now before we go for the annotation let us just try to trim these lines and make this a rigid set so that moving this entity for the next step will be easy. Use the extend to next option and then redraw the projection lines. So we will annotate the top view. So this is the apex O and here lies the corner A and then O1 which is the center of the bottom face of the pyramid and this is corner D followed by corner C and followed by corner B. So with this we have completed the top view of the square pyramid in its second position. So now we are going to consider this for doing the third position that is the axis inclination with respect to the VP. So since this is a beta angle problem we need to construct the beta angle first. So now let us do the construction of the beta angle. So for that we need to show the initial axis length which is 60 mm and also the axis length in the changed view that is from O. Okay so it is from this point of intersection to this point. So the axis length is 45.96. So we are going to use these parameters to draw the beta angle. So first let us draw a line of any arbitrary length and from any arbitrary point let us draw the arc measuring 60 mm in length. So the radius of the arc will be uh, 60 mm and the angle of inclination will be the given angle phi that is 30 degrees. And from this we are going to draw the locus line. So if you want to nomenclate this is the point O and this is the point O1 dash. So now we are going to cut an arc of radii 45.96 from this common center that is O. So the radii will be having 45.96 mm as its measurement and then it is going to cut an arc to intersect the locus line. So now from the point of intersection of the locus of O1 dash we will try to connect it to the point O and then measure the angle so which is 41 degrees. So 41 degrees is the beta angle and 30 degrees is the angle of phi which is given to us. So this is the apparent angle 41. So now we are going to consider this apparent angle of inclination for the next position. So we are going to draw a line which is inclined at an angle of 41 degrees to the vertical plane. So you can just go for the angle between and measure the angle which is 41 degrees. And on this 41 degree line I am going to align the axis of this pyramid. So before I do this step let me just ensure that I am going to treat these two as the separate lines so that I will be getting the point O1 dash. Okay, so since we have already made this a rigid set, we can directly select this pyramid now along with the annotations.
and then go for the move option ensure the copy is on so let me select the point o1 dash and then place the point o1 dash on this line which is inclined at an angle of 41 degrees to the vp now let me select the rotate option so keeping the point o1 as the reference and next point as o dash i'm going to align the axis and we can just move this a bit upwards okay so now we can draw the front view of the square pyramid so let us select a line of thickness 0.13 mm draw the horizontal projection lines from o dash from the corner c dash then from the corner b and d a is on the xy line so now from the point o dash draw the projection line so from a intersect the xy line from corner b let us draw a line here from corner d let us draw a line here from corner c let us draw a line here so for the observer the corner d will be the farthest point so let us complete the front view by selecting a line of thickness 0.50 mm so we'll start from the corner a so the corner a is on the xy line and from the corner a we have to give a connection to corner b followed by corner c so a is connected to d and c is connected to d and then back to so corner a corner b corner c and corner d so now we will connect each of these corners to the apex so since the observer is going to look the pyramid from this direction the bottom plate is completely visible so from the farthest corner the slant edge will be a dotted line so that we would redo it later so now we are going to connect this edge and then select the dotted line so from the corner d to the point o dash it will be a dotted line and similarly we will draw the axis line so for that let us select a line of thickness 0.13 so from O1 intersect the projection line of O1 now select the chain line so from this point to this point this is the axis of the pyramid use the trim option to trim the projection lines of unnecessary length so this point is not required and even this line is not required so with this we complete the front view of the square pyramid with its axis inclined at an angle of 45 degrees or oh sorry 40 degrees but appears to be inclined at an angle of 41 degrees but actual inclination is 30 degrees so we'll annotate the front view so this is the apex o dash this is the corner a dash and this is the corner d dash followed by the corner c dash and this is the corner b dash and this is the axis o1 dash suppose if they are asking what is the length of the axis in its final position then just measure this length which is the length of the axis in the final position so with this we have completed the solution for the given problem statement the direction of the projection lines can be indicated by selecting the leader option and changing the color of the arrow to black